Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Daylex. So if you are new, hi, hello, welcome to my kind of YouTube universe. I hope you enjoy this video. If I want to do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. So as you guys read by the title, as you guys can see, today we're gonna to do a quick tutorial on one to knots from a old braid out. So I hope you guys love this video. As I said, subscribe if you do. Let's get this video started. Today we're going to do a simple hairstyle. It's simple in my head. Okay, so let me explain the hairstyle. <laughs> so I want to do chunky bantu knots. Okay, I have in my head I want to do the most eight, but I want it to be cute too. You okay, ready? I'm ready. Okay, so. This is a very old braid out. Very, very, very old. So we're going to get this into this. Okay. So for this hairstyle, I took up some gel, some jam thingy looky, some rubber bands, and a brush. Okay, so I don't want this this to be precise or detail or cute or sharp I want it to be messy yet cute at the same time wait let me grab my glass okay I'm back and when I said glass I meant a mirror thank you guys okay so we're gonna get this into a cute style okay when you're sectioning your hair you have to make sure that the parts are not too obvious and you stagger every one to knot. So as you guys can see, there's two at the front, one in the crown, and then you have the back. Now I'm going to section each of those four sections that I have into two. So this is how I'm going to get eight sections in total. I'm going to go in with, as you guys can see, the edge control. So I'm just going to run through the back and then when I get to the front, I explain everything with you guys. Okay, so we're at the front now. I want to start with this side. The first thing you want to do is, because it's the front, you want it to be cute. So you're gonna get a comb and you're gonna make clean part. Don't have to be straight, but clean. Okay, so we're at the front. So as I said, the aim is to make clean parts. The parts don't have to be equal or straight, but just that they're clean. Clean parts put less tension on your scalp. And I want to tell you guys, you guys will see that some of them in the front, I did not use rubber band at the base. Don't do that. Put rubber band at all the base. When I was sleeping in the night, I realized the ones that didn't have some of the rubber band to alleviate some of the tension, those gave me hell and I had to loosen them. So definitely go in with your rubber band because the sections are so big, it will cause too much tension on your, your too much tension on your hair so definitely definitely especially because it's the front and you know your front of your hair is so fragile we want those edges so definitely go in with the rubber bands don't be like me okay so you're gonna smooth in the edge control when you put it in don't just plast it on and just leave it like that no you have to smooth it in and then you go in with the rubber band 
okay so you guys want to do your edges before you add the rubber band as you guys can see you don't want to add the rubber band and then when you try to manipulate your edges you break your hair definitely do your edges first then you add your rubber band when you add your rubber band don't do it too tight at the same time because you're going to be twisting the hair that's going to add additional tension so don't wrap the rubber band too tight on it and a thing that I always encourage you guys is to add oil to your bands before you put them in your hair. I didn't show it in this video, but I definitely always do that. As you guys can see, this is a very simple style. I have never ever did um, bantu knots like to the last in my hair ever, even when I had relaxed hair. But it's so easy and it's so cute. The whole secret behind it being cute is to put edge control at the base. That's it. If you put edge control at the base, no matter how many bantu knots you have in your head, it will look cute. So definitely, definitely do that. And again, do not put too much tension on your scalp. So use the rubber bands and do not wrap the rubber bands too many times. I want to tell you guys, when I'm doing the bantu knots, every time, as you guys can see, as I make a bump, I wrap it more around my finger, as you guys can see the hair, because I want it to be smooth and to be clean so definitely do that every time you make a bump or wrap around the bump you twist it around your finger again until you reach the end of your hair you can secure it with an elastic band but if your ends need to trim like mine they will stay but i definitely encourage you guys to go in with the rubber band just to be safe so when you sleep and wake up it, they don't move Okay, so I need you guys to like to recommend like great edge control. I'm not asking for good. I'm asking for great edge control because this edge control is nice, but don't last long. That is my problem. So comment down below any edge control suggestion that you guys will, you know, think is cute and will work for me. Hello, my hair is a type 4 hair. So don't go tell me no cream of nature or anything like that because those don't work for me so comment and tell me the best edge controls i can try that will definitely last and another thing i want you guys to comment like would you definitely wear a bantu knot style just like that out or do you think that's something that you just stay in the house in what do you guys think comment it down below I know you guys must be tired of hearing me talk, so I'm just going to say this last thing and then I'm going to shut up. So if you haven't already subscribed to this channel and if you haven't thumbs up this video and you like it, definitely do so. And remember guys to share this video with somebody who you think may appreciate it. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> Enjoy the music.
the end result i hope you guys really like it because i do so i currently have eight one two knots in my head i wanted eight and i got it to be eight so this is how it turned out i really really like it i'm not sure how the back look but i'm gonna show you guys the back in a few seconds so if you did like this little quick tutorial definitely give me a thumbs up so if you guys did like this little quick tutorial definitely give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel hi hello remember to subscribe i love you guys so much see you guys in my next one